Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So yes, I know CSIR has announced their scorecard, but they have not announced the result yet. Till the time I'm recording this video, there is no announcement about the result. And we don't know when CSR is going to announce uh, the result, okay? So that's quite obvious that you might have this thing in mind that when we can expect the result. So I'm going to talk about probable dates or probable days till which you can expect the CSR net result. Also, I'll be talking about it that many students are telling me that according to the answer key, they were getting certain number of marks, but in the scorecard, they have got five marks or three marks less than that. So why exactly is it happening? So let's talk about that. Okay. So talking about the result, first of all, uh, so you should know about it that once CSI takes the exam, it uploads uh, answer key. Okay. Uh, provisional answer key, you can say, and with that answer key, you can challenge some question. If you think that solution or the answer is incorrect in the answer key, you can challenge that. And after that, uh, like you get, uh, I think three days for that, two days for that. And after a week or 15 days of that, CSR announces the, its scorecard. So that scorecard is not uh, basically based upon the answer key, which they have given it. It is based upon that. But if somebody has challenged some question or if some answer has been changed accordingly, then of course that is going to affect your score. Okay. So that's the answer of the question why your marks are less or more than what you have counted according to the answer key. Okay. So there could be one or two questions which has been challenged by others and which has been accepted by CSIR and that's why your score has that difference. Now uh, the because see uh, when I give an exam I don't mark all the answers especially of the chemistry section. And that's obvious because I don't need to qualify that exam again and again, right? So you know that or you already know about that so because I have not marked the answers. So I personally cannot analyze that which question they have changed. But according to what I am getting from the students, what I, information I'm getting from the students, according to that, I can tell that I think the electrochemistry question of four marker question that has been changed. The answer of that has been changed. And uh, I told on my YouTube video as well when I was uploading the solution of that, that, uh, yeah, that question needs to be done in a different way. And uh, the calculation of EMF, which, which you are going to get according to the general calculation, you might get a different answer. But when you do it, according to the, the calculation of Delta G, you will end up getting a different answer. So probably that is the question which is changed according to me. Okay, there could be some other one. Let's wait for the official answer key uh, from the CSR, they will be uploading a revised answer key. Don't worry about that. So we'll get an idea that which questions has been changed and what has been done. So I think one four marker and one two marker question has been changed. That's why people are getting that difference of five marks or three marks. Okay, uh, that that could be the that that's what is what I'm expecting. Uh, so that is why your score is different from what you have counted according to the answer key and what you have got in the scorecard. Now let's come to the result part. Okay. <coughs> now let's talk about the result part. So if I tell you about the last exam, which was CSIR December 2022 and June 2023 combined. Okay. So that was the combined exam, which uh, held in the month of June and the scorecard was announced on, uh, on 25th of July. And the final uh, result or the cutoff was announced on 31st of July. So just within a week or five or six days, they have basically announced the result or the official answer key or the number uh, list of candidates who have qualified. That's the final result actually. And that's what we are waiting right now. Okay. But if I tell you about the last, last to last exam, that means if I talk about CSIR June 2022 exam, so the, the scorecard was announced on 29th of October and the cutoff and the final result was announced on 17th of November. So it was around 17 days or 17, 18 days from the date of announcement of scorecard. So now because our scorecard, the scorecard of CSIR December 2023 was announced on uh, 4th of uh, February, right? So because of that, uh, now it's uh, like today it is 14th. So it's already 10 days. So you can expect your result any days in any day in this coming week. Okay, that could be the earliest you can expect. And that will be the final result that will have the cutoff. They will first of all give a 
cut off list like how much cut off went for uh, uh, different different categories how much percentage cut off went uh, for unreserved for obc for scst for pwd so uh, for jrf and ls both and after that they will be uploading the list a pdf which will contain the roll number and the rank of students so that is going to be uploaded and these things will be done on csir hrdg website to understand that how this thing works nta nta's work is to conduct the exam and uh, uh, like uh, check the answers give the score and finalize the scorecard and upload that okay so till that time uh, nta's work is done now comes CSIR who has to decide that what could, what is going to be the cutoff, how many students are going to be CSIR, JRF, how many of them are going to be uh, like uh, UGC, JRF and how many of them are going to be LS. So that is what CSIR is going to decide and that is taking a little bit of time this time. So I wish you all the best. Let's wait for a few more days. We have already waited for I think more than a week wait for this week and also we were having a quite a bit of holidays in the last week so probably that's why it is being delayed a little bit let's wait for it and uh, probably you will get your result in this week okay in the in this coming week or in in the next five or six days so all the best for your result i hope and pray that all of you qualify the exam whosoever is watching this video and do let me know what you guys think about the question which question would have been changed so will get an idea because you might have given that and you might know that which question is the probable one so we can have a discussion about that in the comment section below all right so that's all from my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care and do not forget to subscribe the channel like the video if you like and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day take care